Hey guys, today I have a quick and easy noodle stir fry dish, the yaki udon. This comes together in no time and it probably is gonna take you more time to prep the vegetables than it does to cook it yourself. But we're gonna start off by boiling the noodles. Here I have a whole package of frozen sanuki udon. It's like thicker wheat style udon noodles. So I'm gonna be using two of these frozen bricks of udon. Udon comes in a lot of different varieties. I found them dried, I found them in the refrigerated section, I found them frozen. Personally, I like the frozen ones just because they keep a little bit longer, but you can use any of them. And if you don't wanna use udon, you can also substitute for ramen or soba noodles, which also work really well too. So we're just gonna cook it real quick in boiling water. And once the water gets back to boiling point, it really only takes one minute to cook, so it happens super quickly. So keep a close eye on it. Once it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. And we're gonna kinda undercook this because we're gonna continue to stir fry it later. You don't want mushy udon here. Okay, now we're gonna switch gears and use our wok. So I get a lot of questions about what kind of wok I use, where I got it from. This one, I originally bought it from just a restaurant supply store and it's 14 inches, it came unseasoned. I seasoned it um, based on a video I found on YouTube, but you can find some seasoned ones already on Amazon, so I'll link to a few of my suggested ones um, in the description box below. So to our wok, we are gonna drizzle a little bit of oil and then turn on the heat to super high and once the oil gets really hot, I'm gonna add three chicken thighs that I've already cut up. Then I'm just gonna season the chicken with a drizzle of soy sauce, let it cook for about three to five minutes until it's pretty much cooked through. The chicken's looking so good, it's developed like this caramelized crust from like the high heat. So now I'm gonna add in our chopped vegetables. I have carrots, sliced mushrooms, zucchinis, and cabbage, just like a cup of each. I'll have the full recipe listed in the direction box below or the description box below. But I'm just gonna add everything at once. I'll stir fry it for a minute and then I like my onions a little bit on the crunchier side so I'll add it now along with the udon and then our sauce. We have some soy sauce, mirin, sugar, and a tiny hint of sesame oil. Add it all to the wok, stir fry it. I need to eat this very soon because doesn't this just look so amazing? But it's not done. I'm gonna add a little bit of an experiment that I've always wanted to try. So I'm gonna show you guys after I plate it. So I watch a lot of street food videos like Mikey Chen, Miss Mina going out to eat all the yummy foods in Asia. And I've always wondered what would it what would this stir fried udon taste like if I were to put like that takoyaki sauce with some kewpie mayo and just some interesting Japanese condiments on top? So I'm gonna make my own tonkatsu or takoyaki sauce. Uh, basically we have some ketchup, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce to give it that like smoky flavor, a little bit of Dijon and garlic powder. And just mix it all together and then that is our tonkatsu sauce. Mm. Perfect. So I'm gonna show you guys how I plate this. Of course, we're gonna add some of our udon. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna add our toppings or our meat and vegetables. We just need it a little bit more. And now what I'm gonna do is grab our sauce that we made, drizzle it all over the top. Some QP mayo, I am running out, so I definitely need to get more. Some dried seaweed flakes. I tend to like the flavor of this, so I'm gonna add a lot. Plus it adds a nice bit of color to the topping. And then some bonito flakes. It's alive. I honestly, I'm, I don't even have a fan blowing, but like the Bonito Flakes are just like moving on its own. It's kinda, kinda cool. Now let's give it a try, cause this looks so good. All right, I'm re-picking up the noodles because that was a pretty hefty bite. <laughs> Much better, let's get some vegetables. Okay, there you go. So I make this yaki udon all the time at home and it's great as is, but 
adding the sauce, the QP mayo, just adds another layer of flavor. The bonito flakes give it that umaminess. The QP mayo makes it kind of extra creamy. And then the tonkatsu sauce is just like that smoky, yummy, saucy, like barbecue flavor. Oh, it is so good. You guys have to try this. And honestly, you guys can find all of the ingredients at any grocery stores, actually. So it's really, really convenient to make. If you guys enjoy really simple and delicious recipes like these, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And I also have a cookbook coming out. So be sure to check out the link in the description box and pre-order, please. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys end up making this, be sure to tag me on Instagram because I would love to see your creations. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!